tell us what are you doing here today? You know, it's been a four-year campaign, almost five years, trying to shut this man down. He is, in my opinion, and I allege, scamming people thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. He's breaching prohibition orders. He's acting illegally. He's advertising ads that the department says are unlawful, illegal, and um, unverified. And yet he just doesn't care. I help victims who go to the consumer tribunal and I allege he lies left, right and centre. He's already been prosecuted once for lying and he has a criminal conviction for lying but that was just for one thing. There are just thousands of things that both he and his solicitor, I allege, are misleading the tribunal. So poor victims are just being fleeced out of their money. Some are being hurt medically. Some are being um, just uh, abused and uh, they just walk away at the end because justice is way too difficult. But thanks to the Healthcare Complaints Commission today, they've been doing a great job with the Pharmacy Services Unit. I now just want to call on the uh, Minister for Fair Trading, Minister Mason Cox, because now the ball's in his court, because this is as much a consumer scam allegation as it is a health allegation. He's taking advantage of people who are, I guess, vulnerable, right? Unfortunately, you know, we all lose our hair. I'm starting to lose my hair a little bit too, and we don't really know medical terms. And so he says, I invented my own special Indian curries, I have my own herbs and so on. And he has accomplices who are pharmacists who should know better. One pharmacist has already been struck off. He's lost his career thanks to Sam and, and the shenanigans. And now there are two more pharmacists who, have all, who are also being investigated, and they could, after 28 years in business, might have to shut down very soon. We well, spoke to him today, he said, I, I don't know what this is all about, you know, I've, I've had a pro prohibition order, I've done what I was told to do. He so hasn't what's the problem? Oh no, he hasn't done what he's been told to do. He, the prohibition order strictly says you're not allowed to touch any medication whatsoever. Uh, and But he says, oh yeah, but you can buy this at the pharmacist, like why can't I sell it? Hang on, you can buy cigarettes at a store and you can't sell it. You can buy um, alcohol at a store and you can't sell it. And, and not only should he not sell it, he's been found by the Commissioner of the Healthcare Complaints Commission to have endangered the health and, health and safety of people. So he's actually a little bit risky in his actions. What, what's the ultimate? You, you want to see him put out of business, don't you? you don't want him to, to continue to trade like this? Look, he's entitled to trade whichever way he likes, but he can't break the law and he can't scam people. So I don't mean him any harm. I'm just trying to protect the poor people who come to me and you say, I've lost $12,000, I go to the Consumer Tribunal and I lose. I write letters left, right, centre to ministers. We've had three ministers in the last eight months at uh, Fair Trading and uh, so many staff changes. It's about time. There's an election coming up. I'd like to see what Minister Mason Cox can do about this. But I think we've got to champion the Healthcare Complaints Commission today for doing such a great raid, really. I mean, you gave him several thousand dollars, but you're obviously spending a lot of time and money still to, to, to really to prove your point, really, aren't you? Well, initially I lost uh, $3,700, but that's nothing, you know. Uh, the thing is, he says I gave him his money back. What he doesn't tell people is it took me 382 days of combating his lies to get my money back and costing me tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to get this far. It's not about me and my money. It's about the many people he is ripping off. And look, we all lose hair for some people. You know, some of his clients actually do grow their hair back, but that's simply because he's giving them products that anyone can buy at $15 from pharmacy or on the net, but he's charging $4,900 and sometimes $500 a bottle that you can buy at $15. Come on, where, how can I walk away from this? People say to me, why don't you just leave it be? How on earth can you see that kind of scamming going on? People are having to borrow on their credit card to actually pay this guy and he's even doing it illegally and sourcing illegally and now his pharmacists are probably going to lose their business as well if found to be, have been in breach and I think they were. Thank you. There is one guarantee you can be sure of here, and that is that the campaign to expose Sam Cohen will continue until his business is closed for good.